Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Dynasty Warriors 2. I am Ruder95 and this is Dynasty Warriors 2 episode 72. We are picking up from where we left off last time. We are at the Battle of Gwondu with Yusima Yi of the Way Forces. And where we left last left off we were nearly finishing off Yuan Shao. This time at the beginning of this episode we are going to take down Yuan Shao and end his army. Mind blank, jeez. We're going to end it. Uh, so we managed to complete three out of five stages in the last video, which I think is good for the first video of the uh, Mushu. So who knows how far we'll get this time, we might even finish the actual Mushu in this video, who knows. So Yuan Xiao is not that bad, as I said in the end of the last video, he's a little bit tricky at times because he has a really good moveset. Um, but and especially if you char if you've used my strategy that I used in the last video, you might have a bit more trouble with it because you'll be here alone and you'll be surrounded by troopers. But as I said in the last video, it should be fine. There's the infamous if it's time to get serious. That's now infamous. Um, <laughs> the infamous spelling mistakes made by Koei in the making of this game. Uh, but it's doable. It's doable. You you should you should not you should be able to do it, especially with Sima Yin. It's awesome move set. I am losing a couple of bodyguards, but I'm sure that it will turn out all fine. I am sure that this will end brilliantly. I I just know it, guys. I know it. I just I just have that feeling. It's in the pit of my stomach. I just know that I'm doing the right thing. This is gonna work out. You'll see. He's nearly dead, so we're almost there. Just a couple more. One, another, maybe another one, two, three. Maybe one more. One more, one, two, three, and that should be him. One, two, and three, and down. Boom. I'm good at maths. <laughs> no. no. Uh, okay, so the Yuan name cannot die here, but it kind of did. Sorry to say. Anyway, moving on. Another stage complete. I was actually expecting Sima Yi's Mushu not to go as smoothly as this. But it actually went rather smooth. Surprisingly. So the next battle that we have to do will be the Battle of Chibi. Which is fun to play. Oh, you can hear the excitement in my voice, can't you? You can just hear it. It's seeping enthusiasm. Ugh. Who will fall before my might? If I might make a suggestion. You mean this? Really? One symbol for an entire word? Really? Anyway, here is Chibi. Now, I have a very specific strategy for Chibi, and you may already know it if you've seen some of these videos before. If not, then I will show you my strategy as we go along, as I always do in every video. So we started out on this area, this side of the map, which is good for us. Heads up, it's kind of good that we spawned up all the way over here. So that's good. Here we go, Battle of GB, let's get hyped! Jingjia District, Chibi, the Red Cliffs. I have no idea what just happened. We totally started down here. This is where this is where this mission starts. This is where we spawned, right in the thick of it. I'm sure. Anyway, uh, uh, moving on. What I want to do is, whenever you play as the Wei forces or Wu forces, actually Wei or Wu, you want to get your ass all the way over to this side of the map. If you're playing as Wei, like I am, then you want to get to this side of the map in order to defeat Gangneng and Hongai and prevent the fire attack. Spoiler alert. If you are playing as the Wu forces, then you want to get all the way over to this side of the map in order to make the fire attack succeed by defeating the forces stationed here. So as we are playing as Wei, we are obviously looking to make it not happen. So by doing that, we will have to take care of Gangneng and consequently Hongai. Both of which are on this side of the map, so that's why it's a good thing that we spawned up here. Trust me, if you're playing in Jia Haldun, you have a long way to walk, my friends. You have a long way to walk, and it is boring, let me tell you that. 
Um, so here we go. Just mulling through the troopers because Gang 9 will come to us. They'll ga there he is, right there, actually. Thank you, Gang 9, for that impeccable timing. But Gang 9 and Hung Guy will eventually just come to you um, while you're fighting all the troopers. So you can basically just mow the troopers down and take away the morale and then just wait for them to get to you and then you can take them down, no problem. Gang 9 is, is kind of tricky to fight, so be wary when you're fighting him. He, do, he, he can pull moves out of nowhere. And, oh, what? Oh, wait. I'm blocking. Gang, you should probably give in. Wait, oh, oh. I still blocked that. Have you not learned, Gang 9? You cannot break my defense. Apart from that one time when you did it, but that was only because it was the end of your Mushu, and now you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Gang 9 has fallen to my blade. Yes, he has. He's now dead. This is the final um, stage with Wu in it for Sima Yi's Mishu. So Gang Nine's force has been destroyed, and that only leaves Hung Guy, who has, thank you for proving my point right, you have came to us. So now I can just work and focus on taking you down. And this, this mission is going rather smoothly, I must say. Going rather smoothly so far. I'm quite happy with it. Gang Nang, shoot Gang Nang. He's already dead, Martin. Come on, you killed him already. Oh jeez. Anyway, Hung Guy shouldn't he should go down with much less of a fight than Gang Nang did. Gang Nang Gang Gang Nang <laughs> Then Gang Nang did. So here he is, he's almost down to zero health, so we're doing pretty well. I want one more one two three and he'll be gone. Oh wait, deadlock! Oh yes, oh and I win. Of course I win. Some guy, of course I win. And it's gone, and we've prevented the fire attack. But all you need to do is just defeat Hung guy. You don't need to defeat Gang Nine, but he's kind of in your way. So just gonna clear up some of these trips for now. But now that I have defeated Hong Guy and Gang Neng, and now I want to proceed down this aisle of the map, down to the other shore, and then fight my way to Sun Chuan and take care of Sun Chuan. The, uh, the fourth stage is again not that bad if you know what you're doing and you're maxed out. So you can kind of get away with just running on to the commander sometimes and uh, I would advise against it if you're not maxed out and you don't know what you're doing. On hard difficulty, anyway. So for now, I'm just clearing out some of the enemy officers, <laughs> enemy troopers, before moving on down to the shore. There's quite a few of them, but they're all remnants of Hung Guy and Gai Neng's forces, so they're not too relevant to defeat because defeating them does not do much. As in, doesn't lessen any morale. But. Anyway, we're here now, and here is Jotai. Jotai is one of the officers that will defend against your attack from the shore. Again, he's not that bad. He's just another generic officer, so it's not that bad to fight. And there he is, he's already been defeated. So, there you go. There's not much to say about that. <laughs> wow, I'm kicking ass right now. Look at the amount of people I'm killing. Anyway, moving on, we will want to do something. And that something has come all the way over here. Note I picked up a save during that jump cut. There is a save in between here and where I was previously that you want to pick up so that you save in a good position. And we're just mowing through these strippers. I believe now that all we will be doing um, for the remainder of this video is fighting towards Sun Chuan and defeating Sun Chuan. Uh, and a couple of obviously sub generals and generals that are located around Sun Chuan in order to defend him. But as you all know, we can tear through them pretty much because we're awesome guys, right? We're just awesome. Not, not me, we, as in me and you. We are all awesome. So Cheng Pu, I, st I still can't believe I can't play as Cheng Pu in a Dynasty Warriors game, Koei. Make it happen. Dynasty Warriors 9, make it happen. Yeah. Or Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. Whatever one takes your fancy first. In fact, is Dynasty Warriors Extreme 8 Extreme Legends out yet? I don't know. Maybe. I need to check, actually. So here we go. Just mulling our way through them. 
We've made really good time, only 10 minutes, and we've pretty much got ourselves to near enough the end. So this Mushu has actually went by really quickly, which I like it. I like it when it goes by nice and quick. Come on, Cheng Pu. Put up more of a fight than you are now, why don't you? In fact, no, just die. Just don't pop a fight, just die. Please, thank you. Pardon me. Heck out. There we go. Shampoo is defeated. And as you can see, we now have a clear shot towards Sun Xuan. And Yui Jin is gone. Taisha Se, who we played as last Mushu. You remember him, right? The guy with the twin rods, you know? <laughs> you remember him, right? Maybe. It was like the last ma the last character I done like two video three videos ago, <laughs> but uh, that's who we played as the last time. So Sun Xuan is right over here, but as you can pretty much tell, he is pretty much surrounded by troops, and immediately behind him will be a gate captain. So you must account for the gate captain and the reinforcements that will pour out of the gate in response to that. So you must account for that. But I show you, I have not got time for you right now, my friend. I have got bigger fish to fry. Fly, fry. <laughs> I've got bigger fish to. F oh my God, English fresh? What is this? Fly and fresh. Here is Shun Shuan. Shun Shuan. Partly, I'm making a game out of how many words I can say wrongly or incorrectly today. So he's not that bad. He has a four. This is the fourth stage, so things do get kind of semi-serious in the fourth stage. So you need to be careful. You need to watch what you're doing. You need to be careful and watch yourself. It's the fifth stage. The fifth stage is where things really heat up. Really, there's a massive difficulty leap from fourth stage to fifth stage. And here's Hang Dang. He's decided that he wants to try and save his lord. What an idiot, he's just going to end up getting himself killed. Because it's me, Rose95, and Sima Yi, of course, with his awesome sword moveset. So let's just make sure I don't get too surrounded there by jump, jump attacking out of the fray. Which is a nice little tactic, by the way, jump attacking out of the fray. Jumping alone doesn't really get you that far, but if you attack... You can knock people out of your way as you come down to the ground. Bodyguard, stop complaining. We are not too deep. We are fine. I had to resist so bad to make a that's what she said joke there. I just had to resist. Oh, that was difficult. That was difficult. <laughs> okay, so hang down. You're going down. Eventually. Now. Bye. See you later. Okay, so Sun Xuan is just over here. He's keep Our bodyguards are keeping him busy, but we're running out of bodyguards kind of kind of fastly. Kind of kind of fastly. So we're running out of bodyguards kind of fast, so we need to be careful. I believe we will get there eventually. We're close to finishing um, the stage, I believe. The trippers are really not that much of a problem. So if I can if I can attack Sun Chuan this attack times two, I can finish him off quite pretty quickly. If he doesn't do that. Come on. Damn it. Come on. Come on. A couple more hits. Couple more hits. Break his defense. Go. One, two, and three. One, two, break defense. One, two, and three. Come on. Come on, don't knock him down, don't let him recover. Come on, this has got to be it, this has got to be it. Got to be it. Nobody knock him down, nobody knock him down. I got this, I got this, I got this. I can, bro I can block this, I can block this. I can block three people at once, that's cool. Okay, come on, he's nearly... Okay, this is it, this has got to be it. Oh yes, he's gone, people. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Sun Xuan has left the building. So here we are, Battle Chibi, we're done, done and dusted, we're already on to the final stage for Sima Yi. Already guys, that is incredible. Two stages, 15 minutes in, we're making good progress. So the next battle is the Battle of Wuzhang Plains. Prime Minister? It's nothing. Prepare to move. Ha! The enemy has begun to move! Finally! Ju Ye Liang, I've been waiting for this. Hey, that's us! So I've actually decided to not um, begin the battle for this episode. Uh, for personal, well, just uh, time reasons, really. Um, so, just let's have a little brief look around, show off where everyone is. There we are. Gonna have to make our way all the way down to some fighting, which will be fun to walk through. And there's the enemy, as you can see, Guan Yu's got quite a lot of people and stuff. But, you know what, we'll, we will deal with all these people. We will kick these people last season next time in episode 73. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you then. I am Rooter95 and I am signing off for this video, I will see you in episode 73, have a good one until then, see you later guys.